Hi, Mrs. Semple's class. This is Connor, and today I'm going to be doing my book vlog on We All Fall Down. This book is written by Eric Walters, and it's about a boy named Will, and I'll read you the back of it first. Today is September 10th, 2001, and Will, a grade 9 student, will be spending the day at his father's workplace tomorrow. But Will isn't looking forward to it. His father doesn't even have an exciting job, like his best friend James' dad, who is a fireman. Will's dad works for an international trading company and has to wake up early to commute to his office on the 85th floor in the south building of the World Trade Center in Manhattan. Will hardly ever sees his father because of the hours he puts in at, at the office. He doubts that his dad will bother making time for him tomorrow, and the fast-paced and dramatic new novel by best-selling author Eric Walters, Will discovers a new side of his father during an event that continues to affect the world. As Will's new teacher says tomorrow might be an experience that changes your entire life. Dun dun dun! So this is the sequel to this book so this is book one this is book two and this book united we stand it's the day after so in the beginning of we all fall down it starts off by him being in class and seeing a really hot girl and he keeps talking to his best friend and stuff like that so then he goes home and he has to get ready for going to his dad's work the next day, which is September 11th, 2001. And you know that 9-11-2001 in the World Trade Center isn't a good place to be. So his dad works on the 85th floor in the South Tower. And the North Tower got hit first, so he was lucky enough to be in the South Tower. And so in the begin in the morning, he went with his dad onto the train, where his dad met three of his friends, and they had coffee on the train. And once they got to work, Will's dad took Will to the top of the World Trade Center and just showed him the view of everything and all that. And then... They decided to take the stairs down because the elevator was jam-packed full. So they took the stairs down. And when they got to his dad's office, his dad had a secretary. And the secretary helped him with all of his stuff. So when they were doing all the work there, he was working on some paperwork. When the guys who were watching the news was telling them that there was, like, trades from Korea, trades from China, and all that. And um, Will's dad is the fire warden for the 85th floor. So now going into the main part of the book is the North Tower got hit, and Will and his father witnessed it all from his office. They saw the building collapsing, and... They saw people jumping out of the buildings, and Will was scarred. So Will's dad told everybody to get out, get out, get downstairs quick. Even though their building has not been hit, he just found it safer for everybody to get out. And he got everybody out on that floor, and they were all going down the stairs. The stairs were filled, and, and the elevators were out of service. So... Everybody on the stairs wasn't a good time, so he went into this one room where there was everybody still working, and he yelled at them, you need to get out, but they refused to. The leader of that room kept on saying, keep on working, it's the other building that got hit, it wasn't our building, so they refused to, and just as he was speaking to them, an announcement came on that said, Everybody, it's fine to stay, keep working. It was only the North Building that got hit. No need to worry and everything. So 
Will was really scared because he's witnessed people jumping out of the buildings and stuff. And so, like, So, Will's dad and Will decided to keep trying to get them out. So, finally, he got them out. And Will's dad and Will were the last ones in that floor. So, Will's dad took, took a tie, put water on it, and said, Here's a tie to wrap around your face, and just in case if there's any smoke that gets into your face, in your nose and your mouth and stuff, it will keep you safe. So, so then, he said, here, take this water. He drank a water and said, this might be your last water for a little bit, so please drink. And then, so they went downstairs, and the south tower got hit. So they were still in that building when it got hit, but it got hit on the 76th to the 64th floor, and, and everybody was still in the stairwells, so Will and his dad decided to take the other stairs that were completely empty. So it was a great walk down, it was fine, nothing wrong. And then once they got to a floor, they had to cross over through a building into a room, then back to the other stairwell. So once they kept walking down, it looks like the elevator had collapsed. There was a broken down door in the, in the elevator. So they just kept walking down and then they heard a girl crying or something from a room. And so they walked in. The door was, like, closed, so they had to bang it open. And then once they got in, there was a, there was a little Asian girl named Ting. Ting was stuck under all of that rubble and the roof collapse. So she was underneath the roof and cupboards and everything. And... She was crying, help me, help me, but she couldn't speak English, so she was saying it in Mandarin, and Will's dad went over and helped her up. They, she had a broken leg and an injured head. I think she had a, like a really bad gash on her head. So they carried her down, and the floor was getting wet, and then they could smell smoke. So Will took his tie and put it over his mouth and his nose and it was wet so he was only breathing the water and he was fine and they took turns carrying Tang. She was on their back and just carrying her. So every every 15 flights they would switch and they would have a competition on the way down. So so Will would do 15, Will's dad would do 16. Will would do 17, his dad would do 18, and continuing. So, almost down at the bottom, they met these guys, and they heard screaming. So they went down, and there was these guys. There was about four firemen, and one of them was James's dad. And James's dad said, oh, are you all right? Are you right? I ask you one thing, please. It's safe way down, but... When you get down, can you please get James? So they walked, they kept walking down, and there was a fireman way far behind, and he had a bunch of equipment on, and he was sweating, and he wasn't even halfway up. He almost dying. He passed out, and all the firemen had to help him. He was way too out of shape. So Will and his father and Tang kept going down when... They reached the bottom. The lobby was just destroyed. It was terrible. So once they got down, they they ran out. So Will had Ting on his back. And Will's father said, okay, go over to that police officer. I need to go talk to these guys over here. So, so Will took Ting and went to the police officer. The police officer said, yeah, quickly go. He ran with Ting on his back. He could remember was, boom, a big piece of the building collapsed and fell, but it didn't land on them. It landed before them, and he he couldn't breathe. He thought he was gonna die. He was going. <gasps> it was all clogging up when 
he got out of there, there was a paramedic helping him. And all he wanted to do was, I need my dad. I need to get my dad. So he didn't. He didn't end up going. But he waited there and waited and waited. And about 10 minutes later, his dad came out. And when his dad got there, they had a big reunion and hugged and everything. And then they went and got James. That's how the story ended. They got back and then the mom was at the house and was super worried. And they both slept. And... Sorry, the footage cut. But continuing... So this is the sequel, and this is the original book. There is a size difference. You can find these in our class library. These are the books. And to conclude this, I would recommend this book for grades maybe 5 to grade 5, grade 5 and up. It's good. And... This genre is non-fiction, so it's not fake, it's real, and yeah, so, bye. Nolan, get out. She was... So Ting was, Ting was, <laughs> Jonas is, please stop, get out.